Grace Kitchens, in association with the Culinary Federation of Jamaica, presents the Chef's Invitational Challenge on Creative Cooking. Eight chefs, one goal, to create the most exciting new recipes using Grace Convenience Foods and local produce, and to be the top chef of the challenge. Now, meet today's chefs and your host, Maisie Miller. Hello there. Let's introduce you to today's challengers. To my left is Chef George Matthews, personal chef, Kingston. And to my right is Kurt Myers, Sandals Royal Caribbean. Chef George Matthews, what are you preparing for us today? Well, today, Maisie, I'm doing a simple dish for you. Uh, I'm doing a spiced mackerel gratin. Okay. And Chef Mars, what are you preparing? I'm doing a sweet potato polenta yes. with uh, mackerel and also stuffed chicken breast. On Tuesday, the two challengers completed their recipes. Now, here's a recap of their presentations. The basic rules of the contest require the chefs to prepare innovative, consumer-friendly dishes that utilize Grace Convenience Foods along with local produce. The top chef in the challenge will receive $50,000 and the Creative Cooking Chef's Challenge Trophy. The runner-up will receive $30,000 and a trophy. Judges will be assessing the dishes for creative use of Grace products and local produce, taste, originality, presentation, and kitchen organization. Of the total 100 points, taste is the most important, with an allocation of 35 points. That's it, guys. No more cooking time. You have five minutes to play. Time is up. Please stop working. And now it's up to the judges to decide who will go forward and who will go home. And here are your judges. Mrs. Paulette Roden, a certified professional chef and the director of Crimson Dawn Limited. Mr. Steve Soule, Executive Chef of Half Moon Hotel and Vice President of the Culinary Federation of Jamaica and Dr. Janet Dar, the CEO of the Runaway Bay Heart Hotel and Training Institute. The centerpiece of Chef Meyer's dish was a sweet potato polenta, a novel and interesting way to utilize both local produce and four Grace products, Grace mackerel, Grace coconut milk, Grace cornmeal, and Grace Gunga Peas, in addition to Callaloo. The polenta was placed in a baking tray and after baking, cut into round shapes using a cookie cutter and finally grilled on both sides, both to improve appearance and taste. He also prepared chicken breasts, stuffed with Grace Vienna sausages and mixed vegetables, which he completed on the grill. A feature of his creation was a papaya salsa. He finished it all off with a scotch bonnet tomato sauce and he garnished with spaghetti sticks and fried green plantain strips. Chef Matthew's dish was spiced mackerel au gratin. He started with sweet potatoes, peeled, sliced and boiled. Then he prepared his seasonings for sautéing the Grace Jack mackerel. One interesting feature of his preparation was his preference to remove the center bone from the jack mackerel. The sweet potato slices were used as the base of the au gratin, topped with a sautéed grace jack mackerel. He then added feta cheese, topped it with herbed bread crumbs, and then placed the au gratin in the oven to bake. His vegetables, carrots and string beans, were tied in little bundles and blanched before being sautéed to bring out the flavor. Right at the end before serving, he added Grace Whole Kernel Corn to round out the dish. Judges, can we invite you to now give us your comments? Sure. Um, well done, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. 
definitely some very interesting use of Grace products. Uh, I particularly liked the, uh, the polenta with the macro in it. I would never have thought to put macro in polenta, but the uh, taste was very nice. And yeah, and gongo peas also. And, and also George for the, um, the au gratin. Uh, I just found the, the combination of the feta cheese yeah. and the macro a little bit off-putting. It was very flavorful. Um, good use of scotch bonnet. But I, I think that combination was the, the acidity of the, of the feta cheese with the macro. But good job, well done. George, your dish, while it was very flavorful, I, for my, basically for my taste, it was a bit on the spicy side, it was a little too spicy. Um, like Chef said, the combination of the feta cheese and the mackerel, um, both have overpowering flavors, and they did not go down as smoothly as you would want cheese to go down with whatever the other product you're having on a button um, is. Um, I like the, the polenta, I like the idea of the sweet potato and the mackerel in the polenta. It was very colorful. Um, one thing you need to remember though, um, when you're doing a polenta, you need to grill that polenta. You have to remember to grease that grill. So I think you guys did a good job and um, it just goes to show that there's hope for the culinary industry in Jamaica. I'd like to congratulate you both. Um, you have taken mackerel to a new level. <laughs> and uh, I thought the dishes were very innovative. Uh, as uh, Steve said, the feta cheese and the mackerel definitely has a little clash. Chef Myers, I think your tomato, you had a little clash because you had almost three different sauces on the plate. The tomato killed the papaya, which was excellent. We really congratulate you all. I think next time you have to visualize before you commence to look on your uh, pots or your saucepans. Yours were a little bit, you lost a few points because your pots were too large for, for what for you were, portions. for your full portions and for what you actually was preparing for presentation. Both worked very clean. I hope behind the scenes is as clean. And um, the presentation was good. The taste to a point was okay. Congratulations. The score sheets are in. The points have been tallied. And the winner of the challenge is... Chef Kirk. Congratulations, Chef Kirk Myers. You will now move on to the semi-final round and the chance to win the prize as our top chef. Thanks to Chef George Matthews for an excellent effort. Next week, Tuesday evening, two more chefs will take up the challenge. Till then, on behalf of the chefs and our judges, we thank you so much for watching. Grace Kitchens, in association with the Culinary Federation of Jamaica, presents the Chef's Invitational Challenge on Creative Cooking, taking Grace Convenience Foods to a new level. Who will be the top chef of the challenge? Join CVM TV for Creative Cooking every Tuesday and Friday at 7.50 p.m.